Hello everybody, my name is Pamela, welcome to my channel for the love of beauty. This is part two of the henna dye. I'm going to show you guys how the paper came out. I hope you can see that. Um, getting ready to put it in my hair. But you have to make sure that you are wearing gloves because it will dye your hand. Um, also, wear an old shirt because it will stain it. So this is what the paper looks like. I think your hair will come out looking this color. But we'll find out. Okay, let's get started. I don't have to part my hair or use a comb or anything because my hair is short. Okay, let's begin. You're going to cover your hair up with this henna because it's going to really look like mud. I get through applying it on my hair. I'm going to leave it in for about five hours. Some people leave it in longer than that. And if you need to go out someplace, you can wear a wrap or a wig. But if you have longer hair, you will have to just rub it onto your hair. But in my case, my hair is short, so. Thank you. 
<laughs> Hello everybody, I am back. I'm getting ready to take this off and rinse it. Okay, now I'm getting ready to wash it out and come back and show you guys the end result before I do the ending up. Okay, you guys, I am back. I'm going to show you the results of my hair. Um, the henna made it orange looking, sort of a copper tone color. see it reddish color and I'm not trying to be a redhead not anything not that anything's wrong with that but um so this is the end result of my hair but I'm getting ready to start the henna not the henna but the indigo um, I'm going to let that sit overnight. I had just made it up. I'm going to let it sit overnight. And then I'll start with the indigo first thing in the morning. Okay, you guys. I'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.